In this video, we're going to show you how to install Unity onto your computer. Similar to the account setup, you will not be expected to complete the process while watching this video. To begin, let's go to store.unity.com slash download dash NUO in your web browser. Feel free to pause and write this address down if you need to. This web address will take you to the Unity Hub download page. We'll explore Unity Hub more later, but for now, just know that this software will allow you to install, manage, and update different versions of Unity in your projects. To begin the Unity Hub download, we'll select Start Here under First Time Users. Make sure to read and acknowledge the terms for downloading Unity. Once you select Agree and Download, the Unity Hub software will begin downloading. When it's finished, open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. Once you open the installation file that you downloaded, review the Terms of Service again and select the Agree button. At this point, if you have Windows operating system, you'll be able to find the Unity Hub application in your Start menu after installation. Mac users will need to drag the app icon to the application folder first. Then, if Unity Hub doesn't open automatically, open your Mac OS Launchpad and select the Unity Hub application icon. When you start Unity Hub for the first time, you'll be prompted to sign in with the same credentials you created for your Unity account earlier in this lesson. The Hub may default to a page that looks similar to this one. On the left-hand side, you'll see a number of things that can be viewed and managed in Unity Hub. Your projects and installations of Unity software versions are the two you'll most likely use in this course. First, let's see what happens when we add a project to Unity Hub that you'll download later in the course. I'll select Add. Then, I'm going to select my Unity folder, the Downloaded Project folder, and then the Open button. Now I see that my project has been added to Unity Hub, but there's an error message. I don't have the correct version of Unity installed to open this project. If this ever happens, you can easily select the provided Install button to automatically download and install the version of Unity required for your project. However, in this course, we'll be using the same version of Unity throughout all the lessons. So let's go ahead and install that version by managing our installs. Under Installs, we see that no Unity versions have yet been installed. Select Add to download and install the version of Unity we'll be using in this course. Unity Hub now provides you with the most current version of Unity and other official releases. However, the version that we require for the projects in this course isn't listed. Unity allows you to download previous versions of the software by selecting the Download Archive web link. Let's go ahead and select it now to download the version we need. On the Unity Download Archive page in your web browser, select the Unity 2020.x tab. In this course, the project files provided will use Unity version 2020.3.12. It's important to note that Unity projects are not backward compatible, which means that projects created in newer versions of Unity cannot be opened in older versions of the software. To begin the download and installation process, select the Unity Hub Download and Installation button provided for Unity 2020.3.12. If a message appears in your web browser asking you if you want to allow it to open Unity Hub, select Open Unity Hub and the download will continue in Unity Hub. Back in your Unity Hub, you'll receive several modules including game export options to choose from. We'll install these later when you're ready to export a game. But for now, to save on storage space, deselect any of the modules that might be checkmarked. Then, select the Install button to begin installation. 
Once the installation of Unity version 2020.3.12 is complete, which may take some time, you'll now be able to create and open Unity projects with this version of the software. Now that you've witnessed the installation process, it's your turn to get things set up.